In this video, we are going to see the rapid revision of spot test last video. Here a uh, very important one, common carotid is here. So, this is your subclavian artery. Subclavian artery, which muscle divides the subclavian artery into three parts? That is your scalenus. Anterior, we will be uh, answering. And uh, which, uh, first part, what are the branches? Second part, what are the branches? Third part, what are the branches? We will be asking. And then this is the scalenus anterior and this is the scalenus medius. How do you identify? Can you see the brachial plexus? Brachial plexus lies between the two uh, muscles. So, and uh, one more important point, the scalenus anterior muscle should have the phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve lies on the scalenus anterior. So, that is a very important landmark. So, the nerve lies on the scalenus anterior is phrenic nerve. And then if, if you come down, this is the posterior triangle. So, posterior triangle anteriorly you have the sternocleidomastoid. Okay, posteriorly you have the trapezius. So, uh, down you have the middle one third of the clavicle. And the inferior belly of homohyoid it should come here and it divides the posterior triangle into two parts one is the supraclavicular triangle and the occipital triangle like this and then here you have the very important vein it should come over here that is your external jugular vein external jugular vein will be lying on the external freedom master right so we will keep like this only in the exam so external jugular vein you should know the origin mm, formation termination formation is by posterior division of retromandibular vein joins with the posterior auricular vein and forms and drains into the subclavian vein and uh, important clinical application is air embolism and then here in the floor muscles you have to show them the posterior triangle floor muscles semispinalis capitis splenius capitis levator scapulae and uh, scalenus posterior and scalenus anterior like that you have to show them and uh, the floor muscles the roof is formed by skin superficial fascia deep fascia investing layer of deep cervical fascia you should tell and the nerves and blood vessels you should tell the most important nerves uh, on the roof, you should tell lesser occipital nerve and uh, transverse cervical nerve and great auricular nerve which goes to the medial side of the angle of the mandible. So, you should know all these three nerves and then uh, very important arteries, transverse cervical artery you should tell, the vein external jugular vein you should tell, all these are the contents of the posterior triangle and the next one, yeah here. Again, I am showing you the two structures, very important structures. The medial one, already I told you, it is going to the tongue, so it is lingual. And the lateral one is your inferior alveolar nerve and the blood vessel. Nerve is a branch of the uh, posterior division of the mandibular and the artery is a branch of mandibular, uh, ma maxillary. So, here is your maxillary artery. So, this is all about the spotters. And posteriorly, you have the trapezius. That's all tem temporalis, already I have showed you temporalis.